in there, Jude will come get you and we'll unload you and get you in. Well, I'm the gatekeeper here, welcoming campers new and returning from previous years. <laughs> oh, hi, Jeanette. We're having everybody park over here and then the gals with the go-karts will help you with all your stuff. I'm Moira. Oh, hi, Moira. And you are? Barb. Hi, Barb. Nice, nice, to, see to, nice to see you. Is this your first year yeah. camping? Oh, wonderful. Oh. First year camper. It's exciting. Oh, <laughs> we just see good sunshine. Yes, yes. And even if it rains, we'll have a wonderful time. Blue skies, nothing but blue skies from now on. You never come to camp and not get prizes. Thanks, Sarah. Everybody's assigned randomly to a clan, and they have a clan leader. We, we try really hard to separate couples so that they get to know other people. There you go, you're legal now. The whole idea of camp is to make new friends, and if you're with the people you know that love the best, that's not making new friends. We're the Earth Clan, and we're all about the physical. We are the head, heart, health, and hands, and um, we chose the clan system because they are elements that we all deal with every day of our life. Uh, the water clan, the fire clan, the earth clan, and the air clan. We really wanted a system where people could feel like they were well cared for. Uh, not just by the uh, staff, but by other campers. And that is the way we wanted to build community among the campers. Being my first year, I mean, I didn't know anybody. Well, I knew one person, and um, so I didn't know anybody. And now I feel like I've known these people my whole life. It looks like the rain's let up a little. If you'd like to start heading over to the dining hall, we'll begin our opening ceremony. Thank you all for coming, and thank you for being patient with us. Uh, this is 4C Camp camping to create caring communities. And uh, this is our the fourth year. The camp came about over four years ago. Uh, the director of the camp approached me about uh, an idea that he had. Wouldn't it be nice to have adults come to camp in their own space, uh, no kids, and uh, experience some of the experiences that the kids have? We started to realize, well, it's not just about that. What is it more about? It's really more about establishing a sense of community. This is uh, how we opened the very first circle when we began this camp. We've realized, I think even more so, that um, government is not the answer for dealing with, with the issues, at, especially at the local level. And that we have to build up these communities and uh, we feel that we can make an impact by uh, bringing campers together and uh, metaphorically establishing a community right here uh, on this campus at uh, Camp Chankatunk and exporting that sense of community back out to, to these uh, places where these people have come from. I think when a community is able to focus on the needs of the senior members of the community and they have already made an effort to um, enhance the quality of life for the older citizens, they need to start looking around at various opportunities. And I think that the 4C camping experience is the most wonderful way I can imagine to integrate older members of the community who may not know each other, um, may not even live in the community. I really had no idea what this was really going to be about and I got a very rude awakening when they showed me the accommodations. I'm not the camping type. I go and look in the bunkhouse and I see all these bunks in there and they just like have a foam slab on it. Well, you had to make those up and sleep on them at night. Well, that night it was like 43 degrees outside. We were, and it was cold. And then you had to get out of bed in the middle of the night to go to the ladies room. And then you had to hightail it out there in the dark with your flashlight going to the bathroom and the coyotes are howling like crazy and they had gotten something and they were really carrying on like oh they were carrying on like a sore toe. This is not roughing it at all. Very roomy and it's very very convenient with the doors. They do have some cabins that actually have a bed, have electric, um, that made me a lot more comfortable so it was great. Do you think mine cooks well now? Oh yeah I think it's gonna be great. I was gonna make wonderful Christmas presents. 
it into here. Now with a tree, it doesn't come out like this, the branches. They're up like this and one down here. The, the camp seems to attract more females than males, um, but neither Harry and I have a problem with that. Uh, okay, Harry? Every hen house needs a rooster. And uh, so i just kidding, of course. Right, Jim? Well, uh, I don't know, Harry, but if you say so, I'll go along with it. Whoa! The activities are designed, you know, for both men and women. And, and we've had an increase in the number of men, but we have tried to create workshops and opportunities that men would enjoy. We're just doing a test here for a, a demonstration we're putting out for some people about ham radio. So I'm just testing out the antenna. Thank you, kb 2 rla the, uh, my attraction for the camp was my interest in the outdoors and camping in general. So I didn't care really whether it was men or women. If you have people in a camp situation for even for two nights, all the barriers come down and you do activities together, you learn to help each other, and it become, you become very real. My wife uh, worked at the Office of the Aging at the time, which uh, helps put on this event. And she told me I would be here and I would enjoy it. So I decided I'd better enjoy it. And actually I have, this is my third year. Um, and I like the activities, I like the grounds, it's very relaxing. And uh, I even like Harry. primary fire is our hearth fire. It goes back to the Iroquois tradition of having uh, a, an everlasting fire. And the idea was that, that as long as that fire burned, the Iroquois nation held itself together. is like a magnet. It brings like-minded people together. And I think that was the biggest plus of the whole camp, is that when you're done, you walk away with wonderful friends that you cannot wait to see again. It just changes you. You go home with something that you want to feed and take care of and, and share, and then come back and get filled back up again. I want everyone I know and love to come here because I want to share this. <laughs> 